At Pole Clinic, Dr. Brenda is gearing up for her first patient of the day. A big fella. I was concerned about my cat, Miss Kitty. She's been losing weight, and today I found a wound on her neck, and I was concerned it might be infected. Want Miss Kitty to get better? Yeah. Yeah. OK, so what are we doing with her today? I guess my biggest concern is she has a hole in her neck. OK. It's on the front, more to the left okay. there. Lyndon has a 14-year-old cat named Miss Kitty. He's very concerned about her because she's got a hole in her neck. There's really just a wad of hair and pus material on the neck, and I can't see much of anything. We're just going to get the clippers out and shave down so we're down to skin level and we can see what's causing all this oozing. So we get down to the skin layer. We've got a nice circular hole. And if you watch the hole, you can sort of see something moving underneath the skin and moving up into the hole. I see this stuff moving here. The gray little hollow stuff is moving. Mm -hmm. There's actually a grub in there or a fly larva. Mm -hmm. My first reaction was I just felt bad that I hadn't noticed it sooner. Did you see it, Cheyenne? I thought it was really, really yucky. I didn't really want to look at it, but I did. So we're going to take that out of there. This happens from a specific fly that lays an egg on the skin of the cat, and the egg will burrow in and grow. I know. This is basically like one extra large, huge maggot. It's completely disgusting. Oh my gosh. Here we that, was, go. uh, that was much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It was not really gross, but it looked like a one eyed bug. So there's usually only one per mm -hmm. hole. Do you think that would have any effect on her losing weight? And make that her... probably does not have anything to do with her weight loss. I think that in this particular case, the maggot got Miss Kitty into the vet clinic, but this has not caused her overall general health issues. She's very thin. She's <clears throat> emaciated. If you want to just set her here on the tray, now she's about three pounds and four ounces. I see that. Given Miss Kitty's age, where I'm concerned about some of the diseases that geriatric cats can have. So if you don't mind if I take her for a few minutes, I'll get a blood sample from her. I need to do some testing with Miss Kitty to see if we can rule in or rule out diseases for her. Come here, Cyan. Did you see the bug? Yep. Did you see that was in Kitty's neck? I saw his <laughs> head moving around. Pretty yucky. Yeah, I probably didn't feel very good, huh? Mm-mm. The blood work is back for Miss Kitty, and she does have a overactive thyroid. An overactive thyroid is common in older cats, increasing their metabolism and causing weight loss. Certainly, of the things that could be wrong with her, having hyperthyroidism is the easiest treatable thing. We're not going to cure the hyperthyroidism. What we're going to do is try to manage it. She's going to get one pill in the morning, one pill at night to start with. OK, that sounds good. It will involve her getting medication every day for the rest of her life. Miss Kitty, are you ready to go home? I was actually really excited about the blood results. We can just give medication for that, and she should be feeling better soon. I'm going to help Daddy pour medicine on her, because I want her to keep strong and healthy. 